Okay, so we have two worksheets here <clears throat> that are to do with Canadian inventions as part of our Canada theme unit. Um, there are a lot of different Canadian inventions. Some are a little bit arguable, but inventions on this list include things like the Zamboni ice rink cleaner, The canoe, which was invented thousands of years ago by our First Nations people. Canoe is actually an indigenous word for dugout. The sunglasses, first made out of a curved piece of bone with a thin slit through it. That was made hundreds and hundreds of years ago by our Inuit people of the Great White North. The drawing of Superman was created by a Canadian. There's some argument on this one, but the first chocolate bar created by some seamen out in the eastern part of Canada. The first electric oven. Oven. There's a bit of argument on this one as well, but the idea for the light bulb. The zipper is a Canadian invention. The sport of basketball, invented by a Canadian professor who happened to be working down in the United States, but he was a Canadian. The first boat propeller, Canadian invention. The Macintosh apple is a Canadian apple. The ice skates. The garbage bag. bag. The paint roller. We know that Jacques Plante, a Canadian hockey player, a goalie, was the inventor of the first goalie mask. Lots of argument about this one, but even Alexander Graham Bell will say that the idea for the telephone came from Brantford uh, Ontario, and the first long-distance phone call was made in Canada. The invention of the walkie-talkie is a Canadian invention. The, the electric wheelchair. And of course, being Canadian with lots of snow and lots of forest, Things like the snowblower and the chainsaw are also Canadian inventions. So. so are the skidoo and the snowshoes and many, many other things. We're going to on this page pick six of our favorite Canadian inventions and draw them out. A great source for learning about Canadian inventions is this book here called The Kid's Book of Canadian Firsts by Valerie Wyatt. We'll take a look at some. Things like the Canadian Space Arm. That's a Canadian invention, of course. Here we have some information about boats. So it says, the first canoes. It's a good thing there are lots of birch trees in Canada. It takes as many as 12 to build a single canoe. Easy to make, lightweight, and waterproof, the canoe was first used by the First Nations people of the woodlands and later adopted by Europeans who came to trap furs and explore the country. Another canoe style, the dugout, carved out of a single log, was popular on the west coast of Canada. Here it talks about the first boat propeller. Until John Patch of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia came along, boats were powered by sails or paddle wheels. But in 1832, Patch designed a propeller like the ones on boats today, called the screw propeller. It rotated rapidly underwater, powering the boat forward. Sadly, Patch was tricked out of patenting his invention. 
which revolutionized sea travel, and he died penniless. The first toboggans were created, simple to make and great for carrying things and fun to use. That's the toboggan, first invented by First Nations people of the North. The earliest toboggans were made out of thin boards of larch or birch. To get the turned up nose, the wood was bent while still green and tied in place until it dried. Dogs or humans provided the pulling power. Here it talks about how the first snowmobile was invented. Dogs barked and horses shied as 15-year-old Armand Bombardier and his brother Leopold drove their homemade snow machine through the town of Valcourt, Quebec in 1922. Fifteen years later, in 1937, Armand built a snowmobile more like the ones that we know today. Of course, the first snowshoes were invented in Canada. Wade through deep snow and you'll understand why the First Nations people invented snowshoes. By strapping on bent wooden frames crisscrossed with hide, they could walk over the snow rather than through it. Snowshoes weren't for fun, they were serious survival gear. When the Europeans arrived and took up snowshoeing, they soon turned it into a sport. Here it talks about the first sunglasses. Think how many people wear sunglasses today. A piece of bone with a slit may seem low tech compared to today's sunglasses, but these early eye protectors did the job. By reducing the amount of light that entered the eye, they saved their inventors, the Inuit from the north, from snow blindness. We can see a example of one right there. Here it talks about the first light bulb. American Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, right? Actually, there were two inventors. Neither of them was Edison. Torontonians, that's people from Toronto, Henry Woodward and Matthew Evans invented the light bulb in 1873 or 1874. No one is exactly sure. Edison, who had also been working on a light bulb, bought their patent rights and made some changes. The rest is history. Here it talks about the first paint roller. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but without the paint roller developed by Norman Breakey of Toronto in 1940, painting would take forever. Sadly, Mr. Breakey, other people took over his idea, and he never made any money from it. Here it talks about the first green garbage bag. Garbage bags were unknown until Harry Wozlick of Winnipeg, Canada, made big plastic bags in the 1950s and sold them to hospitals to keep their garbage cans clean. At the same time, Union Carbide employee Larry Hansen in Lindsay, Ontario, was making garbage bags for his cottage. Who was first? No one is sure. Eventually, Union Carbide bought out Harry Wozlick and the garbage bag revolution took off. I mean, people use garbage bags every day. Under food, it talks about the first Macintosh apple. Hey, next time you bite into a Macintosh apple, think of John Macintosh. While clearing land in eastern Ontario in 1811, he came across a clump of wild apple trees. And by 1835, he and his sons had learned to breed the apples using a new, at the time, technique called grafting. Macintosh is one of the few inventors who has first named after him. The first electric cooking oven. Until 1892, the only way to cook something was on a wood-burning stove. That year, Thomas Ahern built an electric oven in Ottawa's Windsor Hotel and astounded a party of 50 people by preparing an entire meal on it, the first ever electrically prepared food. Here it says the first chocolate bar. Feeling the need for something sweet? Fishermen in St. Stephen's, New Brunswick, wanted a sweet that was easy to munch on while they fished. To satisfy their craving, Ganong Brothers, a chocolate maker, invented the five-cent chocolate bar in 1910. First pablum, that's baby food, that was also invented by a Canadian. And the first frozen food, ice fillets, that's frozen fish, were frozen in packages and sold to the public. That was created in Halifax, Canada in 1929. Here's a surprising one. The first color movie created by a professor in Kingston, Ontario. He had an idea, and instead of black and white movies, why not color? In 1912, Professor Herbert Kalmus began work on the concept. He chose the name Technicolor to honor the school where he had studied, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Eventually, Kalmus took his new color process to Hollywood, 
where the first color movie came out in 1917. Let's talk about Superman. It says the first Superman comic. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Superman. First drawn, that's the drawings, by Toronto-born artist Joe Schuster. That's him up here. In 1932, when he was only 17 years old, Schuster's friend, Jerome Siegel, he wrote the words. Superman went on to become a major hit and paved the way for many more action heroes. So the drawing of Superman was created by a Canadian. So here we have the first idea for the telephone. Canadians and Americans both like to claim the telephone as their invention. So who does it really belong to? Well, Alexander Graham Bell always said that he got the idea for the telephone in Brantford, Ontario in Canada in 1874, but he made it work in Boston, Massachusetts in 1876. According to Alexander Bell, the idea for the telephone came to him while he was vacationing at his family's home in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. Of course, there's lots of sports. Lacrosse was invented by our First Nations people in Canada. The first skates without buckles, so early ice skates, they came in two parts, the boot, usually an old winter boot, and the blade, but they put them together. The first padded baseball glove was invented by a Canadian. The first basketball game, if games were named after their inventions, you'd dribble your way down a Nasmith ball court. James Nasmith of Almonte, Ontario, that's in Canada, invented basketball while at a YMCA teacher school in Massachusetts. The first basketball game was played on December 21st, 1891 with peach baskets as the goals. The baskets gave the name its name. Well, here we have Jacques Plante and it says the first goalie mask. Montreal Maroons goalie Clint Benedict was the first to wear a mask in a hockey game on February 20th, 1930. He had broken his nose and wanted some protection, but the mask obstructed his vision, so he dumped it. Hockey masks didn't become popular until 1959 when Montreal Canadiens goalie Jacques Plante, that's him up here, wore one for the first time. This one might be a little bit wacky, but here we go. We have the first UFO landing pad. Sudbury, Ontario has its big nickel. Vergreville, Alberta has its giant Easter egg. In St. Paul, Alberta has its unidentified flying object, that would be UFO, landing pad. The world's first and only. The landing pad, shown up here, was constructed in 1967 as a fun project for Canada's centennial. But it caught on among UFO researchers and enthusiasts. And today, the town's conferences on UFOs are attended by people from all over the world. So I have to think about all those amazing inventions and decide which ones I want to draw. Well, I think maybe I'll draw the chocolate bar. Who doesn't love a chocolate bar? I'll color that in. We'll call that the chocolate bar. Of course, we didn't invent chocolate. That was invented a long time ago. I think I might draw sunglasses. Hmm, I think I might draw the first hockey mask. And sticking with sports, I think maybe I'll draw basketball. I think I'll draw the zipper. The zipper is a Canadian invention. And boy, what can I draw for the last one? Well, how about Superman?
Guess I need to add some color to those pictures. Oops, forgot to write the word goalie mask. Well, there's some of my favorite six Canadian inventions. The chocolate bar, sunglasses, the hockey goalie mask, the sport of basketball, the zipper, and Superman's drawings. There are so many different things to choose from, though. What are you going to choose to draw for your six?